Ready? Nelly? 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 Yes, Dad? Here is your new school uniform. Take it to your room. But Dad, this uniform is not the correct color. I know. Starting Monday next week, you are joining a new school. What? Yes, you heard me. You transferred me to a new school without asking me first. Ask you? Since when did I start asking you about adult matters? But Dad, you should have told me first. Do you imagine the stress I'll have to go through now? No, there is nothing to be stressed about. Still, I wish you had involved me in making that decision. Involve you? Nelly, I am your father. I know what is good for you. Yes, come in. Good evening. What is the commotion about? Oh, good evening, Mama Rose. It's Nelly here, complaining that I didn't consult her about joining a new school. Oh, she has a point. What eh? do you mean? Children have a right to be involved when deciding on all matters that affect them. Like seriously? Are you saying I should be consulting her now? Yes, actually, I learned about child participation in school. <laughs> I don't understand. I was in a school that embraced participation of children in several areas, including school activities, rules, and events. This was important for improved school environment, relationships, and the well-being of us all. Actually, it should also be applied in families, community matters, policy making, and political processes. When the voices of children are heard, they are more protected and enjoy their rights. Okay, I see. So now, how do we go about it? What if children make decisions that harm them? As a child rights promoter, I have learned that letting children participate does not mean setting them free to do everything they want. Children should be given a meaningful role for which they volunteer only after they have a clear understanding of the issues at hand. Children should also be involved in decision making by asking them to share ideas that will inform the decision of adults. Also, children can initiate an idea themselves with adults playing a supportive role. Remember, when practicing child participation, it's good to consider the age and maturity of the child. Thank you, Mama Rose, for that lesson. I urge all parents to allow their children to participate in decision-making on matters that affect them directly. This is positive for the development of children and youth. It increases self-esteem and self-belief and improves relationships.